Alrighty, what's going on guys and welcome back to another tier maker video. I enjoy doing these. I enjoy just sitting down and talking. This is fun. So today we have Fallout 4 Companions tier list. And we've got tiers, top tier waifu, S, A, B, C, D, F. And this is all the base game and the DLC uh, companions. No... Um... No mods or nothing like that. This is just base game. And we're going to go in order. Starting with... Uh, I also should say I have played Fallout 4 about nine times. On Xbox, PlayStation. Uh, and we are going to play through it on PC soon. With mods. So I'm looking forward to that. So I, I have thousands of hours in Fallout 4. I, you know, everyone complained about it. I didn't, you know, I didn't think there was... I mean, I understand it, some of the points that people were making. That what understand it isn't it? Understand it. I understood, but I don't agree with a lot of what people were saying. The only thing that you can slag Fallout Four off is for its story. Everything else is solid. But anyways, we're gonna start off. We're gonna go left, and we're gonna start with Curie. Curie is a top tier waifu. I think Curie is probably, oh, it's 50-50 between, we'll get onto it later, but I love Curie, I love her, uh, what do you call it, she's so naive, you know, she's, she's got the accent, and you kind of, not, I, I don't want to say it like that, it's going to sound super weird, but you sort of, you come out of the vault, you're on your own, you know, you're acquainting yourself to the to the world and, you know, the wasteland and what's going on. And then you meet Curie, who's never been into the wasteland, you know, she's she's um, a robot underneath Vault 8, no, Vault 88, I think. And she's just chilling, you know, has no idea what's going on, and then when she comes out to the world and she sees it, and it's kind of like, it's your turn to, to show her how everything is um and she's kind of in the same position as you whereas you both have no clue what happened what's gone on uh she has a great perk as well with the healing she's just really cool and like i said the accent is just oh if she would be up here i love curie um strong probably f to be honest strong is boring and i i don't think I need to say much more than that. You save him at the top of Trinity Tower. Um, he's there. If you have him in your settlement, you can guarantee he's probably just going to get pissed off with what you do. If you mod your weapons, he doesn't like it. If you pick lock stuff, he doesn't like it. If you do anything, he probably doesn't like it. He's just annoying. Um, and yeah, that's that. Paladin Dance. Dance. Um... Hmm. Uh, B and C, B and C, B and C. Uh, I'll go B. I like dance. He's okay. Um, especially when you're doing the Brotherhood quest line and it goes in depth. I'm not going to spoil it. If, well, I mean the game's been out for a while now. Surely you know. Okay, well I'll put a spoiler warning here. Spoilers. If you don't want to know what happens to dance, skip forward. Um, but when you go through the Brotherhood quest line, you learn that. Dance, who's this this Brotherhood knight through and through, Paladin. Everything the Brotherhood stands for, he agrees with. And it turns out he is everything that he's been fighting against. And it's like, damn, that, that flip. You know what I mean? That Where did that come from? Um, and just how kind of up his own arse Maxon is when it comes to stuff like that. Because... Dance is essentially like his his right hand man, you know, his his guy that does it all, and Maxon's re really willing to just get rid of him. But in terms of having him around, I think Dance's personality is a little bit boring, you know, because he is a soldier. He's very stuck in one way, and that's kind of it. So that's why I keep him in B. But it's great if you're playing as a anti-synth guy because even when he's like 
Maxon's like, yeah, kill him. No arguments. The guy gets on his knees and he's willing to just die for the brother. That's how, like, in his own way he is, but... That's that. Kate, I'm going to put Kate in S. Out of kind of like Curie, Kate and Piper, I think Kate is probably my my least favourite but not boring. I don't mean that as in she's bad. I just, I like, I like this row more. So that's that. But I like the accent. I like her as a character. I think it would have been nice if there was a little bit more kind of um, a little bit more backstory, if you know what I mean. A bit more personality came through a little bit kind of earlier on in her quest. But um, yeah, she's great. Um, you know, she goes through the the, the early stages of your kind of friendship as a like an ex raider. I would say bandit, but she's not a bandit, is she? But um. Yeah, she, you know, she does drugs, she fights, she swears, she does all that kind of stuff. And then as you gradually get along, she finds out that, like, doing all of these chems and these drugs are making it worse. And she wants to stop that, so you end up going down her quest. And her quest is really cool, I like that. And you fight the gunners in the vault to, um... To save her. But yeah, I, I like Kate, she's cool. Um, really have much more to say about that. S tier, solid. You're never going to have a bad time with Kate. Let's put it that way. Uh, we got Codsworth. Uh, he's not a waifu. Um, I like Codsworth. I put A. I like Codsworth. I prefer Codsworth over Dance. And he's great if you're playing like a mechanist kind of robot only character. He's great. Um,. He's obviously one of the few times you're with a character that ends up staying with you after the bombs drop. You know, when you're in the intro scene, Codsworth's there. And then the bombs drop and you go back and he's still there. So, I think he's unique in a sense that he's kind of the only... I think he's one of the few characters that's with you before and after the bomb drops. So, that's a cool way to look at that. Uh, I like the accent. Um, I like the loyalty. I like... Uh, yeah, I like him. He's cool. The uh, Automaton DLC was quite cool. Um, in that, yeah, you know, you could upgrade him and change him and make him even more like not personal to you. Is that what I'm trying to say? But you know what I'm trying to say. But yeah, he's great, and that's kind of all I've got to say about that. Um, I think this is Robot Curie, and if that's Robot Curie, I'll put her in S. Or A. I, I mean, it, it would be S as well, but she's a robot. So we'll put her in S. Uh, waifu. I'll put her in S because she's a robot. I'm not a Mr. Uh, oh, shit. I'm not a Miss Nanny racist. I just... I would not wife up a robot. Personally. Or at least not one that looks like that. But this is Curie when you first meet her. Um... Still with the accent and all of that cool stuff. Um, and yeah, everything that kind of relates to this Curie is kind of the same. So I'm not going to spend much longer on that. She's she's great. Dogmeat S tier. Because I think if I put Dogmeat and Waifu, I will raise some questions, won't it? So. He's a dog. He's loyal. He's cool. He grab, grabs enemies for you. He fetches stuff for you. He barks, he helps you in the main quest, he's just a good boy, and I wish we could have had him and a follower as well, in the main game, without like mods and stuff, because I feel like travelling with people is a lot more enjoyable than travelling with, not that it's a bad thing, but obviously people talk and Dog meat is just kind of always there. And he always blocks doorways. It's a pain in the ass. Like, if you could rugby kick a dog out the way, it would be better. But you can't. So, you know, he always seems to get in the way. Especially when you're going inside. He, he's he's uh, a big pain in the ass for that. But he's great. Handcart. Um, maybe B again. 
A or B, I'm not sure. Um, I'm not really, uh, I'm not really too, I don't dislike Hancock, but I don't love him. I don't think he's incredible. He's got a, quite a cool story in that he just did loads of, like, chems until he went like this. And, you know, he's the mayor and he lets you in without, kind of, any trouble. And even when you go through the, the good neighbor quest where you break in and steal all of his shit, he, he's like, oh, that was cool. And he doesn't do anything about it so he's kind of really chill um but other than that it's just yeah he's kind of there and that's that deacon uh, i'm not the biggest fan of deacon i'll be honest i like the voice actor the voice actor is great oh forgive me i still have a cold pain in the arse Um, but yeah, it's kind of, I, I think some of the reason I'm not a fan of him is because I'm not a fan of the railroad. The railroad kind of bore me. Um, but yeah, I'm not a fan of the railroad. I don't think they're the best. And he's, uh, 90% of the time he's lying. So that's kind of like, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of that either. And some of, like, you have to make videos about him and whether you're a fan or not. Or, oh, was he lying when he said this or blah, blah, blah. But, He's cool. He's just, yeah, meh vibes. But like I said, I love the voice actor. He's great. Longfellow. Probably a D. I like him a bit more than Strong, but that's about it. Again, he's the Far Harbor DLC guy. Um, but he's also, like, a bit boring. I think the problem Far Harbor has, especially when you're playing through it for the first time, you want to take Nick with you. Because obviously of all the, the backstory and the lore and blah, blah, blah. I won't spoil that. So you have to throw away Nick or keep Longfellow. And if you keep Longfellow, it's like, what are you gaining, really? You know, it's just kind of meh. Yeah, he knows quite a bit about the, the island and all of that kind of stuff. But I would rather have Nick and, you know, learn all of the, the backstory and stuff. But he's cool. He's... I don't know, he's just kind of there for me. I can't even remember what his companion perk I'm not mentioning companion perks really, but I can't even remember what he is, so I'll stick with D. I think D's solid. IG88, is it IG88? No, that's the guy from, uh, that's the one from Star Wars. X688, I think. What is this? Call out. Four. Is it X6? X688. That's the one. Not IG88. I was close. Well, that shows all I need to know about that. I haven't done a solely Institute playthrough yet. So, that's the one faction I've not done. Which is quite surprising, I suppose. Um, but yeah, he is boring, really. He's like... Everything dances, but with zero personality. It's very, it's very boring. McCready. I'm going to put McCready in A. I like McCready a lot. Um, I like his backstory. I like his personality. I like... Well, I don't like it, but he has a very interesting kind of... I suppose backstory, yeah. It's interesting, you know, with his wife and the... The ghouls and good neighbor and the gunners. He, there's a lot behind his personality. And you meet him in uh, you meet him in Fallout Three. He's the kid in the cave. Um, so yeah, you actually know him years and years before Fallout Four even happens. So yeah, I think he's great. You know, he's a sniper as well. 
He uses the marksman sniper, and I love the way that looks. It's like a hunting rifle, and it's just it's it's plain, but it looks really nice. And uh, yeah, I like McCready a lot. He's really cool, and it's like quest when you have to go and try and find his medicine for his his son. It's great. I'm gonna see these. <coughs> <coughs> Uh. So yeah, I like McCready a lot. So A tier is where he'll stay. Uh, Gage. Gage is... The Nuka World DLC character. And... Um, oh, C or D. Uh, I don't really know much about Gage, to be honest with you. Oh, I need to blow my nose again. Jesus. Oh, cold suck. Arse. Um, I think what will make Gage a lot better is if I do a predominantly just evil dickhead character. Which obviously is, is hard to do in Fallout. But I should. Um, that's what I need to do. Because I think that would make him a lot more not enjoyable, but I don't really know how I'm trying to say it. But yeah, that's that's just kind of it. I think at the minute, you know, he is a gang guy. He does save you. Uh, he does help you in Nuka World. He does give you tips and ideas and tricks and stuff. He's alright. But I wouldn't put him above any of these. Ada. I like Ada a lot. But she is also probably... She's quite boring. In terms of personality. So I put her in C. Uh, the Automaton DLC character. The, the companion for that. Um, she's great. Um, I think like because. Of all like the upgrades and stuff that you can do to the robots. I'd probably rank her probably a little bit higher. So maybe she's B. I don't know. She's on. She's low end of B. Because personality wise there isn't really much there. You know you meet her. She's a bit sad. Well, she's very sad because obviously all of her like caravan dies. Spoilers. Um, but there isn't really much personality after that. Obviously, she's helping you finding the scanners to find the robots to find the base. But that's that's kind of it. So yeah, I think that's that. I don't even know who this is. Who's this? I don't even know who that is. See if we can see if we can figure out who that is. Because Ada, yeah. So is that just a normal? That must just be like some. So uh, if that's just like an automaton robot, probably I don't know. See if it's completely random. You can make robots overpowered as shit. And if you're doing a mechanic mechanist playthrough, they're great. They are super fun. Um, and I think there is something more interesting in kind of... Um, because you can customise them and make them how you want. Which makes these kind of characters a lot more personal to you. But uh, yeah, they're solid. Uh, Piper, S tier... One of the best companions in any Fallout game ever. I love Piper so much. She's so cool. I bet she, if you lived with Piper, she'd piss you off royally. She would, wouldn't she? She'd just really wind you up 24-7. But she's awesome. She's stubborn. She's a pain in the ass. She doesn't do what she's told. She stands against the system. You know, she's always fighting. And she reminds me of everything I am. Because I'm a pain in the ass too. So yeah, I like her a lot. She was the first companion I personally romanced. Um, and uh, yeah, her backstory is quite interesting. I mean, she talks about her dad and the settlements and what she wants. And then like, her whole quest is 
relates to what you do about her little sister and yeah she's awesome i love piper so much and i love the voice actor as well is it courtney courtney taylor courtney something i think she's great as well press to, uh, let's do nick first nick is a he's cool he's a really super like prototype synth uh he makes far harbor a bit better um And, uh, yeah, he's got quite a cool backstory. Um, all of his kind of memories are off this detective. So he kind of, even though it wasn't him that did it, it's his memories. So he feels like it was him and he feels like he was there. And all the, all the backstory in Far Harbor, he makes that whole DLC a lot more interesting and solving cases and stuff. I do wish they'd have done a bit more with that. I wish they'd have had like a whole different like quest line revolving around solving mysteries with him. Because I think that would be a lot more... Uh... Make it a bit more interesting because once kind of the main thing is done and you've done his like side bit where you go and kill is it Eddie something. That's kind of it. And then he becomes a bit kind of meh. But if you could go on, do, you know, keep solving these quests and stuff. And these mysteries. I think that would be cool. Oh, yes. And finally, we have the man, the myth. The meme. I think we need to do something special for this guy. Right, there we go. He deserves his own column because he is a terrible companion. Terrible leader. Just. Just. There we go. And I don't think I need to explain that, do I really? We have another settlement that needs help. Oh, your dad just died. Oh, well, that's terrible. Your son's missing. Oh, that's terrible. But we've, we've gotten word that a settlement needs your help. Oh no, you your your mum has cancer. Oh, but we've we've that's terrible, but we've found a promising new spot for a settlement. Yeah, you know what I mean? I'll say no more. I don't need to explain it. We all know he's shit. And uh yeah, I I'm happy with that. Kind of kind of goes out, doesn't it? That's kind of cool. Yeah, I like that. So, there we are. That is my uh, my list. So, if you agree, let me know down below. You know, the comment section. Make I say this in all my tier videos. Go and make your own. And either... Well, either write in the comments where you put people. If you'd agree or whatnot. Or make your own. Screenshot it and join the Discord. Um, put it in Discord. I love doing tier maker stuff because I guarantee you this list is not really the same as anybody else's. We all have different kind of tastes and I would like to know yours. So, yeah, that is that. So I'm going to end that one there. If you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like down below, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Links to all of my socials in the description box down below. It's been your boy and I'll see you all in the next one.